not having the relative safe haven that was the car I used for my sleep. Those running the gang stalking program can finally congratulate themselves that I am now confined like a lab rat to the torture chamber that is the flat here at 11 Dayak Court in Peckham, South East London. Having to sleep here will rapidly accelerate my decline. Though the residents, police and the evasive mental health services will all share the burden of responsibility, though I don't believe their collective conscience will be too troubled. If I were to slaughter many innocents, that would have an effect upon them, but they know that won't happen. If you are unaware, the police have adopted some Stasi tactics, which means they have purposely dismissed my credible evidence concerning my being made a pariah, and they've used psychiatric reprisals or referrals because having me diagnosed as delusional, they see as their get-out clause, or even a get-out-of-jail card. My main connection with mental health is because I'm the primary carer for my brother, who was diagnosed over 30 years ago with a severe condition. For a reason I have yet to understand, those who could be a significant help to me have decided not to engage with me. The residents have taken a similar stance and in their infinite wisdom decided silence is the only way to go. Before my inevitable and I fear quite rapid descent, while I battle to hold off something which I should have nipped in the bud years ago, instead of enjoying the physical suffering as I have since 2012, I'll bring some light to this video with some of my photos. Photography was a hobby which occupied my time in a useful rather than useless way, as has been much of my existence. I've been less inclined to use a camera these last five or five or more years and I'm not sure what prompted me to look at my Millennium Bridge photos recently but whatever caused it I enjoyed editing some of them these last few days and so here's a selection of those photos of London's newest bridge Thank you. 